This is my PIC microcontroller based model rocket altimeter development project. Um, there are a lot of commercially available model rocket altimeters available and I just felt like this would be a fun project to build on my own. Um, what I have here is my development board and upper left corner is the PIC 16 F88 microcontroller and an LCD display and some other debugging lights. Um, and I got the sensor inside my little mini pressure chamber with vacuum pump and uh, polycarbonate top and a little platform there to hold the sensor. Um, I've actually done a bunch of testing with this and uh, it's pretty darn accurate. Actually compared uh, across 13 uh, data points from about 500 feet above ground level altitude to about just over 20,000 feet above ground level, it tracks the commercial altimeters very nicely. Um, I don't know whether or not you can see this graph, but it's 13 data points. Um, obviously, I had trouble getting them at around 5,000 feet. It kind of went from 2,000 up to 8,000 because my uh, altimeter chamber isn't all that excellent. But what I did is I compared it against two altimeters of the same make and model, uh, about 10 years different in manufacture between 1995 and 2005 uh, versus this one. And actually, my version of the altimeter tracks right in the middle of these two uh, commercially available altimeters. Um, it's pretty exciting. Um, but anyway, uh, this is phase one. I really haven't gotten to production phase yet. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll just initialize the circuit and it will come up and what we have is two lines on the LCD display. The top line is uh, on the far left is the raw A to D output. The top line middle value is actually hectopascals and if we want to look at it, it says what 992 it's initializing right now but 992 nine whatever hectopascals. If we actually look at what what's happening locally um, on the local uh, barometer that happens to be sitting near my airport, you can see it's 992 hectopascals. So it, I've actually got a nice little barometer here, and we're having a little low pressure system um, going on right here. And uh, so we have a little bit of lower pressure. But uh, what we have, okay, so that's the top middle value. The, the top line right value is the altitude above ground level. So what we have on the lower line is the left is the current altitude it's set high um, because we can't work in negative values in PIC Basic, so I actually just bumped up our local altitude by about 1,500 feet. Um, so I'm about 1,500 feet less than that in reality. And actually with a low pressure system, I'm more than that. Uh, the lower line middle value is my initialization value. Let the, the processor come up and everything come up and, and then take a number of readings and do a, a moving average um, of the initial altitude readings and that's what that indicates and then the lower right corner is actually my maximum altitude uh, that's been read and you can see it's actually below the initial altitude now that's there's always fluctuations by a few hectopascals so it just sets to zero rather than going to 65,000 or whatever because it's a word variable it just goes to zero and that's the upper right again the upper right corner um, first line right value is my altitude above ground level and which is most important to, in model rocketry so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to power up this system using my high-tech uh, altitude chamber here with a, a metal bowl and uh, a wiring harness going into my little sensor there um, with a polycarbonate plate and a broken uh, pressure gauge and my eBay vacuum pump, which is actually a pretty nice little unit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to place this on here without jarring the the camera too much. Um, try to get this thing up and running. And we're gonna fire it up. Make sure that I got a decent seal on this uh, on this altitude chamber. And pardon the jostling of the camera. And now I'm gonna fire it up, and we'll see how high we can fly. Looks like we got 27,940 feet above ground level, 30,000 feet in pressure. Um, I don't know if it's accurate because I've only gone up to 20,000 taking dual measurements between the commercial altimeters and, uh, and my altimeter, but you can see it measures and it has all those good values and kind of a, a neat little toy. Anyway, this is just phase one. 
and uh, it seems pretty accurate. I hope to uh, add a few more bells and whistles, um, package it, you know, make a nice printed circuit board, and actually uh, maybe make it available as a kit one of these days. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for phase two. Bye bye.